Okay, you guys have graphed piecewise functions before. It's when a function is broken up into three different pieces. And so the graphs might be doing several different things. Uh, this skill is important to revisit because in a few weeks, we're going to be talking about discontinuity or continuity of functions, and there may be piecewise functions. So here's the trick. Not so much a trick, but a tip. Look at each function separately and pay attention to the constraint. Pay attention to what x is less than than, less than, or what x is equal to, or what x is greater than. That is a really key thing. So the first thing I want us to look at is this, whoops, is this first piece of the function. Notice the parent function is just the square root of x. Well, the square root function looks, let's see, kind of like this, right? That's what the parent graph looks like. But something's going on in here. First of all, the only thing we care about is when the x values are less than negative 4. And it's not. there's not really going to be a dotted line there, but all we care about is what's happening over here. So let's go ahead and uh, get some x and y values. First of all, if we put 0 in for here, it's still 0. But all we care about are when the x's are less than negative 4. So let's go ahead and put negative 4 in there. Well, negative 4 times negative 4 is positive 16. What's the square root of positive 16? It's 4. If you need to see that, we could do that. All right, so now let's think about what else we could do. How about if we put in negative 9? So if we put in negative 9, negative 9 times negative 4 is the square root of 36. Well, the square root of 36 is 6. So let's look at what's happening. At negative 4, we're up at positive 4, but there's a hollow dot. And at negative 9, so over here someplace, we're up here at 6. So look at what's happened with that piecewise function. It looks like this. So when the original looked like this, the parent graph, well, it got flipped. The inside of it got flipped. So notice it's flipped over the x-axis, or the y-axis. Uh, and because the constraint, sorry, because the constraint is x is less than negative 4, it really, if we would have left 0 there, it would have been going from here up to there, but there's a constraint. Okay, so now the next piece, let me some of this yellow stuff, all right. We're going to care what's happening between negative 4 and positive 3. So what's happening in this area? Well, look at what it says. It says that between greater than negative 4 but less than or equal, the x's that are less than or equal, equal 3, it's just going to be a horizontal line at negative 6. So not touching 4 but equal to 3, it's just going to be that horizontal line right there. I can erase that. And the last piece is what's happening for all the values that are greater than 3. What's happening over here? Well, that's a the parent function is a cube root. So remember, a cube root normally looks like this. It looks something like that. Well, all we care about is, first of all, the, the values where x is greater than 3, but look at what's happened. It's also been shifted left or right because it's inside the parentheses. So what's the opposite of negative 4? Positive 4. So we're going to go over 1, 2, 3, 4, and we're going to uh, put in some values. So let's go ahead and Whoops, 
I need to make this bigger. All right. So we care about the values. X is uh, X is three or above, although it won't be touching three. So let's just put in three values. So when you put three in three in here, three subtract four is negative one. Negative one cubed is uh, still negative one. So at three down negative one, we're going to put a hollow dot. All right, we're going to put a four in here. 4 subtract 4 is 0. 0 squared is 0. Uh, 5 subtract 1 is 1. 1 cubed is 1. 6 subtract 4 is 2. 2 cubed is 8. So here, we're going to be up here at 6. We're going to be here. So it's going to be kind of, kind of like this, but we're actually... stopping right there. All right, so that is what you're going to be doing on those piecewise. This took a little bit longer, but this is what uh, you're going to be doing on all of those. All right, this is sketching piecewise functions.